Oh, he really did. Wow. Oh, wow. He actually has a video called I Retire. Let's actually, let's watch this. We'll get into that. Let's watch this. What's good, YouTube? DDG I Retire. He really actually deleted all of his videos. Wow. Let's hear it. We'll, we'll listen to the Rumble one after this. I want to hear this. What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another video, aka welcome back to my last video on YouTube. Well, let's see. Let's see why, um, bro. I want to see why. If y'all think that I'm lying or you think this is clickbait, you can just click on my name right below. Click on Pontiac Made DDG Vlogs. You can type in DDG Family in the search bar. Pontiac Made Gaming with DDG. Whatever channel I got, there's no video, no more videos of me online that I posted on YouTube. Every single video is deleted now. I gotta see why. Um, I hope it's yo. Before he continues, I hope it's not to like promote your ver your rapper image. Like, come on, bro. You got you. Don't forget where you started, bro. You know what I'm saying? I hope it's not to just because you want the image of a rapper, nigga. You are a rapper. It doesn't matter that you do YouTube, bro. You're a rapper. Look at KSI. KSI is still a YouTuber, but at the end of the day, he's made a career in rap. Please, bro. Now a lot of y'all might be like, damn, why you delete the old videos? Blah blah blah. It's just, I'm at a point now where, well, I already told y'all, I warned y'all, I already told y'all that I was quitting YouTube after my fight. And reason being is because I really want to lock in and focus on music. It's something that I'm extremely passionate So you act like, bro, we see so many YouTubers post like, and don't try to say I do this because I... Y'all gonna say I do this, but y'all see like plenty of YouTubers that only upload like twice a year and shit like that. Nigga, that's all you gotta do, bro. You can do both. And I don't upload only twice a year, don't, so don't try to fucking play me with that, y'all. I don't do that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because I know y'all niggas gonna be like, yo, that's you. No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't do that shit, bro. But I'm saying, come on, bro. And flight. That's a fact. Flight does that. That's not me. I'm not talking about myself. Fuck all y'all, bro. I don't do that. I post plenty of ironic. Man, fuck. Oh my god, bro. I post plenty. I I haven't po upload every three months, Nick. Oh my. There's no fucking way. No, 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 I don't. All right, ladies, let me go. Look at this. Hold on. My last upload a month ago, Demon Slayer Review, the last upload before that, women ring to the table, no, in Cloud Chase, three, yeah, three, three months, but then four months, there four months, four months, five months, five months, six months, seven months. That's what I'm, don't try to play with me, bro. Don't try to act like I'm just doing that. Don't try to play with me, y'all. Y'all know damn why I don't do that. Come on. Back to what I, back to the DDG video. About like I feel like I have something with music. I feel like I gave so much to this YouTube stuff and I've been doing it for six years. I didn't show my life. Like I want some type of I want some, some type of mystery to my life. You know what I mean? Like you got to know me over six years. We damn near related. You know what I'm saying? We got to know each other. You you know my whole family at this. You're inconsistent, yo, bro. I know, but the thing is, bro, I'm liking what I'm doing right now. Now, granted, whenever I'm able to start uploading the uh, RP, this consistent decoy. Yo, bro, y'all see this, man? I like streaming more than just straight up uploads, bro. Now, granted, I do have videos. I I'm not doing daily uploads. There's no fucking way I'm gonna tire myself out. Trust me, I'm. Y'all wouldn't even like it. I would tire myself out so fucking fast, bro. Like, bro, when I did go hard at like doing all those videos, y'all gotta think about. It. I wasn't on stream talking about things that I could possibly talk about in uploaded videos. You know what I'm saying? Now that I'm streaming on YouTube, I have to come up with things every Friday to talk about for two hours straight. You know what I'm saying? Topics that could, of course, be used in uploads, but if I'm talking about them for two hours straight with y'all, bro. At this point, um, you know where I'm from, you know what college I went to, how I came up, everything is documented. And um, Thank you, Up Next Jordan. You know, the streams are that's, consistent. That's, 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 that's the saying. good part about you being a part of this journey. But for the new people that discover me, I only want them to know music. I don't... You know, Daily I don't, uploads I'm, would get I annoying. I want to be more closed off. I want to be more mysterious. I want to be... I want to focus strictly on be, being an artist, you know. Understandable, but at the same time, bro, you shouldn't delete all your shit, man. You know what I'm saying? You should definitely give people the room to know you. Definitely because that's where you started at as a YouTuber. Like, come on, bro. And I'm sure you can appreciate that. Some people can, you know, understand where I'm coming from. Because I understand. I got something, y'all. Like, I really got something going with this music stuff, and I just want to put my full attention and full dedication to it, you know.
And this boxing thing was really like, okay, let me go ahead and do one big thing before I decide to make this leap and really quit YouTube and stop doing it. Yeah, cold cut. I know I could, I know if I uploaded a lot more, I'd be able to get, you know, a million subscribers. But that's the thing. I'm not focused on that. I'm focused on building my community. As long as I can get my community where I want it, I'm fine. That's the thing, bro. Y'all can tell I've tried to focus on that more than just focusing on trying to build a million subscribers. Like before, uh, when I was uploading and stuff like that, I did gain subscribers and everything like that. But I'm focused on more of a community rather than just having subscribers like on my instagram like i even tell you over and over i keep upload i mean i keep losing followers i'll gain followers and i'll lose them i've been stuck at 283 to 284 000, uh followers on instagram for the longest because i keep gaining people whenever i post i lose them whenever i don't because i you know what i'm saying they, they come there thinking i'm an instagram guy i'm not that instagram guy anymore i'm not that guy pal you know what i'm saying i'm not that guy you know what i'm saying so yeah bro I'm not this Instagram nigga, so I don't want niggas to think that. So, you know what I'm saying? My community is following me. It's strong. It's very strong. My, you know what I'm saying? My, uh, my engagement has shown that. You know what I'm saying? And I'm perfectly fine with that. Unfollow me if you think I'm an Instagram nigga. I don't want, want these people that just want me to be an Instagram nigga. You know what I'm saying? Look at, like I said, you look at a nigga like I'm Dante. The nigga has four posts, but he's growing nonstop on Instagram. Four fucking posts, bro. Look at Berlizzi. Berlizzi uploads a picture or something every now and then. Nigga does not upload content on Instagram. You know what I'm saying? Uh, fucking Don, Young Don, the sauce guy, gaining followers like a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Uh, your rage. <laughs> Definitely your rage. Gaining followers nonstop. Engagement at the peak, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to do that, bro. Um, and it was. I went in there and I got the win. I ain't get the knockout because dog can't hold me. But we gonna watch that. We gonna watch the, the fight. Win, I feel like we should watch that down, before we do videos. Uh, put my whole rap career on the line. That was a gamble, and um, you know I did something super duper viral, and I was like, you know what? This is a good way for people to to end it off and for people to remember me. So, um, Air Force hit him up. I stopped doing IG lives too. Now, Rage don't do them. But he, he get a lot of people. Up for a couple days or so. Rage get like six, eight, eight out to eight thousand people on his lives. At this point, it will be nothing that you can watch at DDG besides music, or unless a blog post about it. But I'll still be on Instagram, Twitter, all of that. Um, I'll still be active on social media. But I honestly don't think people are gonna care that much. So I want to see how much y'all honestly do care. So. After this video enough, is over, work. I want you to go on Twitter and I want you to like, I don't know, tweet your favorite memory or tweet DDG come back to YouTube or something, blah, 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 blah. But, uh, but if you're, I don't know. I feel like that's something you, sh like, I understand what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? You're trying to see how many people actually want it. And if enough people want it, you may come back. But that's the thing. What's the point of deleting all your old videos? You should have, pro I can see if he privated them or something, but if he deleted them, he's tripping, bro. That's, you lost out on a lot, bro. That's your legacy right there. But hashtag DDG. No, thank you, my nigga Elijah. Thank you, my nigga. Read all the tweets from the hashtag and see what y'all talking about or whatever. But tweet hashtag DDG quit and then write something about me quitting me on YouTube or doing something like that. I, I hope he just private them. Read what y'all have to say if this is really a big deal or not. But um, go on Twitter and do that. But yeah, I feel like I gave it enough, y'all. I feel like we had a lot of fun, man. We done did a lot of stuff. Y'all done seen me go through relationships. Y'all done seen me do this and that. Y'all done seen me, you know, uh, go from being a, a regular person to being this, I don't know what I am. You know, I, I want to be humble and not Star. call myself a celebrity, but it's low key. Uh, no, bro, like I'm getting there. You know what no, I'm saying? No, no bullshit, bro. No bullshit, man. People got to stop with that. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like there's definitely something in the black community that we do. We try to remain humble so much to be relatable to everyone. But then I even saw Heavenly Controller tweet it out. He said, I forgot that I was a celebrity and shit like that. You know how many people would be like, oh, you're, not, you're a YouTuber. You don't even have a million subscribers and shit like that and try to say he's not. No. At this given point, you still are a celebrity. Look how much fame, you know what I'm saying, and everything that you've gained. Look how much clout and everything that you have. You have some type of celebrity status. Maybe, of course, obviously you're not an A-list. Maybe not even B-list. But at some, you're, you have some type of celebrity status status, you know what I'm saying? So with DDG definitely being as big as he is to even say that, like, come on, bro, you are a celebrity. You know what I'm saying? He said he doesn't want to do it because he wants to be, remain humble. No, Maybe remain humble, but at the same time, you are a celebrity. Humble. Yo, that's a fact. That's a fact. Bennett, thank you for those 100 bits, my nigga. That's a fact, bro. That's a fact. So, um, it's pretty lit, though, you know what I mean? It's, it's a dope feeling, you know what I mean? I always want to know what it feel like to be lit. Right now, I honestly feel lit. And it's, you know, it's a dope feeling. And, um, but I really just want to do music. Like, that's really YouTubers are the new celebs. Exactly, exactly like, cause It's a lot of YouTube doing niggas. Boxing. Think about it. You don't think Long Beach Griffey is a fucking celebrity? Nigga, you got to think about it, bro. Everywhere we go, we're YouTubers. But at the end of the day, everywhere we go, we get stopped. Nigga, we, I literally have had people come up to me and can't even speak, nigga. 
They fucking what is it? What the fuck is it? Starstruck. And I ain't shit but a bitch ass nigga. I tell niggas that all the time. I ain't shit. I'm like, I'm talking about niggas can't even speak because they're like, they you know, they're in my presence. I'm like, nigga, I ain't shit. That's what I'm saying, bro. With a nigga like DDG on his status, you know what I mean? People would what? Go crazy? Crying probably and shit? Because they meet up somebody with somebody like that? Come on, man. You're a celebrity. Thing I haven't really been able to really lock in again. So Illuminati lost 10,000 subs exposing DDG? Pfft, I couldn't tell. In the studio, and that's all I want to do. I just want to be in the studio. Yeah, RDC, RDC world. Yes, real world celebs. Facts. Studio, and I just want to make great music. And this nigga said Griffey just a fat, a regular fat butt nigga. Make great music videos and do great shows and meet y'all in person and stuff and just elevate. So, got a lot of stuff coming up this year. I'm going on tour. Um, rolling loud next month. I got this is a bunch of stuff that's coming up right now. So I have to part ways uh -huh. with YouTube. I'm gonna be honest. I I, I probably would be uh, too shy to say anything. Ellie, if you saw me, you act like that. First of all, look, you gotta understand. Anybody in the chat who's actually met me, did y'all feel any other like nigga? Anybody in the chat who's actually met me in person, guarantee you, when you met me, you probably thought I was a nigga that you've known your whole life. I make everybody feel extremely comfortable around me, bro. There's not been one person who's met me and be like, damn, they can't act in a certain way, nigga. Whenever you meet me, definitely some of the conversations we have, nigga, if, pff, bruh. I have the same exact nigga that you see on these streams. I'm trying to tell you. Don't get it twisted. You ain't gonna grab my ass. That's something you ain't gonna do. You did not grab your ass. You did not, nobody's grabbed my ass. Yo, nah, I'm not gonna front. Yo, we can say what we say, you know what I'm saying, on these streams and shit. But at the end of the day, bro, don't 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 play me like that in person. Like, dog, you nigga, don't grab, don't, don't touch my ass. I'm not even gonna sit there in front, bro. I'm not that nigga. I'm not that nigga. Yeah, I'm sorry, y'all. Don't no, you didn't. None of y'all niggas grab my ass. Not a damn one of y'all niggas grab my ass, bro. Not one of y'all niggas grab my ass. You feel me? You know what I'm saying, but yeah, bro, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not that guy. I'm sorry. I'm. I'm definitely not that guy. Don't don't touch my ass. You know what I'm saying, nigga. The last nigga at Kamehameha kind of kept touching me too much. They already heard the story. I can't tell y'all again, but y'all saw the story. You know what I'm saying. You and me are going for uh, tacos and beer if you're ever in AZ. Yo, you know what I'm saying. I got you. I'm definitely going to do that. You know what I'm saying. And like I said, you going to think that I've known you for my whole life. I make everybody feel very comfortable. You know what I'm saying. It was fat and chocolate, but you've never touched my ass, bro. You know what I'm saying. And this is my farewell, y'all. I, I don't want y'all to think I'm sounding insensitive, but I'm gonna, you ass, I'm gonna see you on Instagram. If we meet, we got a sword fight. You won't see me on YouTube. No <laughs> more vlogs. No I got more the full that. DDG, the artist. DDG, the artist can still be DDG, the YouTuber. Let me know your favorite memory or how you feel about this situation on Twitter. Hashtag DDG. We never, quit. we never cuddled with each other. I love y'all so much. Y'all changed my life. My nigga Anime Turtle, Griffey, RDC, Daquan, Dante, Rage, Raider are some of my main idols. Yo, thank you, man. I, I, I really do feel honored to be that. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, bro. I was Somebody nervous when I met you because you had that ski mask on and was telling me to give up all that money or everybody was getting. <sighs> Come on, Jeff. Yo, Jeff, you know damn what that didn't happen. Come on, bro. I ain't even that type of nigga anymore. You know what I'm saying? Now, look, back in the day in GTA, obviously, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, you know. But yeah, bro. Nigga, no, I ain't even like that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Um, Shout my nigga kill him. Life. It's been a trend to hate on DDG. I don't know why, but you can't discredit everything he's done on YouTube for the black community. Nah, facts. I don't know why it's a trend to hate on him. YouTube you know what I'm saying? Is, is That's a fact. Niggas don't need to hate on him. He didn't do anything to get hated on. Blessing. Him. You know, I never take YouTube for granted. Y'all niggas gotta really stop. Y'all niggas did not touch my ass. In my family. Out of the hood. Out of bad conditions. You know what I mean? Like. I come from boy. What the fuck? Hold on. Xavier the Slayer 23 said niggas be 40 having idols. And? And? The fuck? Really, nigga? Really? What the fuck kind of shit is that? Niggas be 40 having idols. And? Like a nigga, like a 40 year old nigga can't have an idol like Jay Z. Or have an idol like fucking P. Diddy. Have an idol like motherfucking Mark Zuckerberg, who's even younger than him. Or have, have an idol like fucking, you know what I'm saying? What the fuck? Jeff Bezos and shit. What the hell's wrong with you? Nigga, are you serious? You can't have an idol because of an age? Are you fucking serious? There's niggas who are 60 who idolize niggas who are 20 years old. Because they're, you know, because of their status. You don't even have to be richer than that. You don't even have to be richer than that person. You know what I'm saying? What the hell? Nigga, I idolize Rage and Dante. Berlizzi. As far as streamers. And look at me, I'm older than all of them niggas. The hell, the hell's wrong with you? The fuck kind of shit was that to say? Chill out, nigga. No, you chill the fuck out, nigga. The hell, the hell kind of shit was that to say? You can't idol, nigga. How old are you, bro? 
How old are you, bro? You can't idolize a nigga because you're 40 years old. Shut the fuck up. That dumb ass shit. Pulling water in a turkey baster on the stove so I can take a bath. You're right, I'm a bitch. I have hot water coming out of the you're shower. You're 40. You're, you're not nowhere near 40, um, bro. Like, I come from a... I come from struggles, you know what I'm saying? So to be in this position that I'm in and to be having this fat ass crib and just, you know, being in LA and all that. He said this fat ass and then he said something about his house. This is just a blessing I'm and good. it's all thanks to you guys and, and, and you being interested in my life. So I want to thank y'all from the bottom of my heart and I love y'all. Hopefully you travel along with me to my music career, you know? Um, and like the shit ain't heat. We know it's heat. You know, I'm platinum already. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I got something. You know what I mean? It's not like I'm quitting. I'm not sus. It's like, it's like, it's not like I'm dropping out of college. Shout out to Easy Gang, you FNG, know, and YRG. This is, like, this is the equivalent to dropping out of college as a millionaire. It's very and PGN, Petty you know Gang Nation. Saying? Shout out so to all these things. Be good. Shout out to Griffey whenever um, he makes his community. Yeah, man. It's, it's going up. Shout out so, to DEO, too. Facts. I'm excited for the future. I hope y'all excited for my future. I hope you happy for me, and I hope to, to bring you along with me, and this is not. But if this is the end of you rocking with DDG because you only gonna watch me for vlogs, I appreciate your time. I love you, and thanks for rocking with me. For the others, it's time to take over the music industry. Shout out to the Sarah J. Soldiers. Love y'all. Sarah J. Once so again, Soldiers. I see y'all uh, on social media somewhere, obviously. DDG out. Lastly, before I get up out of here, um, I'd like to thank today's sponsor. I gotta let y'all know. Oh, we number seven on music. I dropped oh, the iCarly. I was about to say. I just took I the iCarly um, theme song, and Trey made a. a I haven't heard that. Detroit we may have to listen to that. Beat on it, oh, I got and I rapped on it. Two point seven million views in one day. Shout out to the Hive too, my nigga Bardock. Right now, so we going. Shout out to the Hive, bro. Right now, y'all. Uh, Trend number seven on your page. Go check it out. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my music channel. That's the only place you can find me. Type in DDG Music or DDG Vivo. Subscribe to it. We about to hit two million subscribers on there right now. So that's where you'll find me at. Just like in a million years, you probably never thought we'd be out the pandemic. And in a million years, you never thought I'd quit YouTube, but they both happened. Subscribe to my music channel right now, please. Everybody. Maybe if we hit three million, I come back. Maybe. Come on, bro. I don't think that was a good move, but who am I? You know what I'm saying? Some person who's less successful. Who am I to tell somebody who's more successful than me? You know what I'm saying? What to do? You know what I'm saying? Hey, bro, I just uh, personally think he shouldn't have done that because, you know what I'm saying? But this this obviously shows you he doesn't just care about money because he's he easily could have, you know, kept his videos up and still been making money. But, hey, that clearly shows you all he don't give a fuck about the money. He, think he's, he really wants to put all his focus into music. Never know. Hit subscribe. First link in the bio. I love y'all. Or description, whatever you call it. Demahe, they coming, bro. Give me a kiss before I did. Yo, bro, you ain't have to do all that, bro. You ain't have to do all that, the kissing and shit. You ain't have to do all that, bro. You aggressive. Chill out. Yo, all right, yeah, now, yeah, we gotta go. Gotta get up off that. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, bro. Well, DDG, you know what I'm saying? Um, Much luck to you on your future endeavors. You know what I'm saying? Best of luck to you, bro. You feel me? Best of luck to you on your future endeavors, bro. All right. So now, y'all really want to watch this uh this Bruce drop them off video though?